Let us find the value of square root of i. First we observe that if we solve the equation x square equal to 1, then you get x equal to 1 comma minus 1. If you solve the equation x square equal to minus 1, then you get the solution x equal to i comma minus i. What about the equation root over i equal to x plus i y? In other words, we solve the equation i equal to x plus i y whole thing square. Can we solve it? Yes. Of course, here we assume x and y to be real number. So if we square it, we have x square plus i y whole square plus 2 x i y. But i square equal to minus 1, so this equal to x square minus y square plus 2xy times i. Now i can be written as 0 plus 1 into i. Now if two complex numbers are equal, then their real part, that is 0 here, and here x square minus y square must be equal. So 0 equal to x square minus y square. What about imaginary part? They are also must be equal. So 1 equal to 2xy. From first equation we can say x square minus y square equal to 0. That gives us x square equal to y square so if we take root both side x equal to plus minus y what about the second one we have x y equal to half observe that if we take x equal to minus y then that cannot be true positive into negative is negative but your product is half so only choice is x equal to y so when x equal to y we have x into x equal to half that will give us x square equal to half and so x equal to plus minus 1 by root 2 plus minus 1 by root 2 when you take x equal to plus 1 by root 2 you have x equal to y because x and y both has to be either positive or negative so y is also equal to 1 by root 2 therefore x plus i y equal to 1 by root 2 plus i by root 2 or minus 1 by root 2 when x is minus half y is equal to minus half as well because x equal to y minus i by root 2 so we have found two roots of i so root i equal to plus minus so root i equal to plus minus so root i equal to plus minus 1 by root 2 plus i by root 2 and we are done.